Hello there, Star Wars fans. So, the Destroyer Droid... Uh, let me lower the camera a little bit here. Now, as you can see, I have it in the ball rolling thingy mode, and it's okay. I mean, it's an approximation of what you see in the movies and in the shows and stuff. It's decent. It gets the job done okay. I mean, I guess you could kind of see something rolling like that, I guess, but... Eh, this is definitely the weakest mode, and transformation is a bit boring, I guess, and I don't know, it's it's not the greatest, but at least they included it, and it looks uh, decent enough to what it actually looks like in the movies and in the cartoons. Uh, I would have liked them to include the Force Shield, especially for the $34 price point, but there is still a lot packed into this guy that I guess you could say still warrants the deluxe price tag on this. A lot of nice sculpt and paint and a lot of joints put into this figure as well that I'm going to get into. So I guess let's take this guy out of his ball mode for comparison. Here it is with Ahsoka. So there's that. But now let's transform this Separatist droid into his regular robot mode. So you just... Rotate this piece in. Be very careful with this small ball joint piece. You don't want to press on that too hard. And it'll just click into place. And then you just fold out the arms. Rotate them down. Like that. And then you just rotate the, the claw legs out. I guess you, you could call them. Position them to your liking however you want. You rotate these pieces out. And this midsection, you rotate back like that. I like to rotate it back again. And then this piece right here, you flip out, and then that's going to tab in to there. So let's line that up. It was a little hard to do off camera, so I had to go back. But um, you just rotate this piece up. It's on a bunch of hinges on the inside here, so... Just rotate it to your liking, however you want to do it. It's kind of strange to maneuver around that, but it's doable. And just position the legs and arms how you want it to look. And there you have the Jordica in regular robot mode. And boy, all the nice sculpted details on this guy are just fantastic. This brownish, like, sparkly paint on... This area and on the top of its head on the side of the shoulders there is really nice. Some more of that there for these panels. Awesome sculpted details. This was one of my favorite droid designs ever since I was a little kid. So seeing this represented in highly detailed 6 inch scale is just fantastic. Uh, one nice little detail here is all the wires right here. They're on soft pliable plastic and back here as well. And then there's this other tube right here on the same soft plastic that runs along both shoulders, which kind of gets in the way of this joint right here. It gets a little annoying, um, but it is workable. You can work around that. And what I also like is the, the piston detailing right here. Look at that. That is fantastic. If the camera would focus, come on. There we go. Look at that. Absolutely amazing. And this piston rod right here is actually on a ball joint so you can maneuver that however you want like that which is fantastic look at that that is so cool uh so the rest of the articulation you've got this midsection joint and then this could rotate a little bit and then of course the head piece is on a ball joint so you could get it left and right and you can rotate it side to side up and down very nice and for the shoulders and the arms, you got this up and down hinge. You got this forward and back hinge that is kind of like really tight or stuck on this on this shoulder. On this one, it, it moves fine. Like you can see it moving forward and back. But on this side, it's like stuck. It doesn't want to stay in place. Super weird. But you got that joint, which is pretty good. Then you get forward and back there out a little bit there and then you get upper bicep swivel you get double jointed elbows which go all the way up and you get two ab joints one right here and you get one 
above that crunches a little bit. Then, of course, these panel joints can go in and out. And the legs, each one has the same joints, so they could go in and out. They could rotate right here, up and down on this joint, and back and forth on this joint right here. So it's pretty decently articulated, especially for a design this weird and out there and complex as this destroyer droid. So I got to commend Hasbro. You know, they, they did their best with the crazy design from back in the late 90s, you know. They did what Hasbro could do, you know, for a, a physical figure. And I think it worked out pretty well. I just wish... Some of the joints were a bit tighter and a bit more smoother to move around, and it came with, obviously, the whole uh, shield. But other than that, this might go down as one of the best Black Series releases, in my opinion. There's a ton of nice sculpted details, a lot of nice paint on there, where it is, you know, the nice red here, the silver on the sensors, and the black right here for the hose. That's very nice, and just the piston details right here, and all the little... Uh, hoses on the arms and on the shoulders looks very nice and they also painted those hoses which looks good too and then the details right here with all the little moving parts and pistons and rods in there it's just so good uh for scaling let's bring in ventress dooku so there you go with that pretty good scale i'd say it's about the size it should be so yeah other than some of the joints feeling a bit weird and a little too loose here and there and him not having the force shield i would definitely say that this is a pretty good release here and a nice addition to the prequels slash clone wars era shelf for all you collectors out there i would get him uh, i already have a couple i plan on getting a third one at some point so if you guys can find this guy online or in stores i would definitely recommend picking up this fine destroyer droid right here but yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for this review. Let me know, let me know down in the comments below what do y'all think about this Droideka right here. All my social medias are linked down below. My email is also linked down below if y'all want to hit me up about business inquiries or if you want to message me about whatever. Or if you want to subscribe to my new Patreon link down below. It's got tons of exclusive content that you won't see here on YouTube or anywhere else, such as exclusive stop motions, photography. You guys get one week access before everybody else here on YouTube to my stop motion films, Discord access, exclusive music and music snippets from my stop motion films, behind the scenes of projects I'm working on, such as dioramas, stop motions, photography, videos. So if you guys want to help support me and help support the channel, I would greatly appreciate it. But yeah, guys, thank you for watching this video. I'll catch y'all in the next one. Bye!